want you to meet a friend of mine who does a show, Days of Our Lives, over at NBC, where I do the Hollywood Squares, and we've been friends a long time. I first met Billy when he followed me into the Roxy Theater. I won't tell the year of the year, but that's the year you had uh, a two million selling record. Uh, yes, it was, and it was a uh, ballad of Davy Crockett. That's right. And we thought well, we would do something a little unusual this it's evening. It's quite unusual. It was Bill's idea. It's actually idea. impossible. Uh, oh, we'll do it. I tell he said, look, you've done uh, Harold Hill. Why don't we do Trouble? I said, I don't know if I remember it. He said, let's try to do it as a challenge. So we will. When I point to you, you start. I go. Uh, yeah, but you just do the opening dialogue and then point to me anytime, okay? All right. All right. Here we I go. Trouble to you, you go. I, oh, oh, you know me. Go get him. All right. Here we go. Friends, either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand is gold. <laughs> Don't you cultivate horse sense. A cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try to give an ironclad leave to yourself from a three-rail billiard shot? But just as I say it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a ball flying game, I say that any fool can take and shovel and bowl with any pocket. And I call that slob. First big step on the road to the depths of degradation. I say first, medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then, then beer from a bottle. And the first thing you know, your son is playing both money in a bitch back suit. Whew! And listen to some big out of town Jasper, hearing him talk about a horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trot race, no, but a race where they sit down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck up jockey boy sitting on. Dan Patch, make your blood boil? Well, I should say. Well, friends, let me tell you what I mean. They got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on the table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B and a time to be an for fool. And all week long, your river city youth will be a fritter and away. I say, your young men will be a fritter and fritter and away. They're noontime, supper time, short time, too. Get the bowl in the pocket. Never mind getting dandelions pulled or the beefsteak pan or the beef stays round it. <laughs> Never mind. Pumping any water to your parents are caught with a cistern empty of a Saturday night. That's, That's trouble. trouble. Yeah, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the, the kids, kids in the knickerbocker shirt tail young ones peeking through the pool hall window after school. Trouble, folks, right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with T, and that stands for poo. Right here in River City. Yeah. But I can deal this trouble, folks, with a wave of my hand, this very hand. Please observe me, if you will. We're Professor Harold Hill, and we're here to warn as a River City Boys band. Oh, think, my friends, how could any pool table ever hope to compete with a gold trombone? Think, right, yeah, but I'm not bad, right, right. Remember, my friends, what a handful of trumpet players into the famous fabled walls of Jericho. Oh, bet your father walls come a-tumbling down. Oh, a band will do it, my friends. Oh, yes, I mean a boys' band. You hear me? I said, River City's got to have a boys' band. I mean, she needs it today. Well, Professor Harold Hill's on hand. River City's going to have a boys' band. As sure as the Lord made little green apples, and that band's going to be in uniform. Oh, yes, it's going to be in uniform. 76 trombones will let the big parade with 110 cornets to look the head. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtual souls and cream. A very famous band, Hagen Bill Hayes. 76 trombones caught the morning sun with 110 cornets her right behind. Yeah. There was more than a thousand reeds springing up like a weed. Now there were horns of every shape and size. There were copper bottom Tiffany and horse platoon. Yes, sir! Thundering, thundering louder than before. Clarinets of every size. Trumpeters would improvise a bull octave higher than the score. Seven, right, we got the whole thing. Seventy-six trombones hit the counterpoint with a hundred and ten cornets blazed away. Hey! To the rhythm of hearts. The march, and the march is still right today. Not 72, not 73, not 72, not 73, not 74, not 75, but 76! Hey!